Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm excited to be telling you about, explaining about something that is new in skincare, which we hear that a lot about new things, but this is cutting edge stuff that I'm gonna be talking about today, and it has to do with a term you may have heard called exosomes. And exosome skincare is a big trend that everybody's talking about, so we're gonna cover that in today's video. I'm gonna talk about what it is, what it can do, and I'm also gonna demonstrate how to use it. So if you happen to be new to me and my channel and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris Gibson, a skincare expert. I've been doing skincare for 38 years now. Boy, they're really adding up. Helping folks like you find skincare that's gonna actually work for them, not empty their wallet, and not do them more harm than good. So if that's the kind of content you've been looking for here on YouTube from somebody who's been walking the talk a really long time, well, you're in the right place. I hope you'll stick around and subscribe. But let's jump right in. What are or what is exosome? or exosomes. Well, exosomes are tiny elements or vesicles that come from your actual cells that contain bioactive molecules that contain proteins, nucleic acids, and lipids. And they've gotten a lot of attention lately because of their beneficial effects on skin aging, skin healing, and the regenerative process that your body already possesses when it comes to producing things like collagen and of course, new skin cells. And when it comes to collagen production, exosomes simulate fibroblasts, which are the cells that actually help produce collagen in the body, leading to that all important improved skin elasticity and wrinkle reduction. Exosomes also help promote skin regeneration, cellular turnover, which means they're very beneficial for things like acne scarring, hyperpigmentation, and even accumulated sun damage. Benefits we usually attribute to topical products like retinoic acid, which would be retinol over the counter or prescription Retin-A. Exosomes also contain all important molecules that reduce inflammation in the skin and body, giving some excellent results when it comes to things like acne breakouts, rosacea, and even eczema. And exosomes certainly improve skin texture and tone by reducing hyperpigmentation and promoting overall skin rejuvenation. So how are exosomes actually used when it comes to anti-aging of the skin? Well, as you might suspect, this ingredient is included now in several brands of topical creams, lotions, and serums, so they can be applied directly to the surface of the skin. But more so when at-home or in-office treatments like microinfusion or microneedling have occurred, applying an exosome serum, whether it be a professional level serum, we're gonna talk about that in a minute, or an over-the-counter serum, those treatments actually allow the exosomes to penetrate the skin further, giving some really fantastic results over time. Now, where exosomes can take a step further than topical products. They actually can be administered intravenously into the body, which gives systemic benefits for the skin and body from the inside out. They've been proven to be generally safe and effective with very few side effects, maybe some dryness, redness, or itching when you first apply them, but the body quickly acclimates to them much more quickly even than say a retinol or retinoic acid product. Exosome treatments, whether they're over-the-counter products, prescription, or in office tend to be actually fairly inexpensive with the exception of the professional level strength serums applied after microneedling or in intravenous use. And if you know me, you know I'm prepared to demonstrate how these work. I have both prescription level exome formulation here for the video today. And I also have an over-the-counter option that looks kind of crazy. Let's just fix that. Hair out of the face because we don't want to get that in the hairline. So let's first talk about prescription level exosome formulations. This happens to be one by Muesli. It also includes rapamycin. Again, this is a professional serum. It's refrigerated to keep it fresh and active. Whereas the over-the-counter version, which I'm gonna share with you after this one, doesn't have to be refrigerated. Still powerful enough to give you good results, but at a much lower cost and with less housekeeping. Now this particular serum, again by Muesli's prescription level, is called the Cell Repair Serum. Prescription formulated to increase the benefits of a topical application of both exosomes, which include IPSC exosomes, which are derived from stem cell in that technology, which are medically used in a variety of conditions, including wound healing. The big difference in this formulation versus over-the-counter, it contains prescription rapamycin. You cannot get Rapamycin over the counter. Rapamycin is derived from an anti organ rejection drug that work by slowing down the processes in skin cells that lead to aging and damage. 
and at the same time, stimulating collagen production. Now, again, I did a whole video deep dive on rapamycin and how it works. I was using rapamycin on its own late last year. So I will attach that video to this one so you can keep on watching when we're done here today. If you're interested in a real deep dive on what rapamycin can actually do for skin, it's pretty fascinating and amazing. Very simple to use. This would always go on first in your skincare routine on clean skin at night. You simply would use one little pump. A little bit of this stuff goes a really long way. And you would pat that into the area you wanted to treat. and then follow with your other skincare products. Of course, I'll put a link down below in the video description box where you can find this prescription level product. It is gonna be a little more costly. It's about $48 a bottle. You get two months supply, so it's gonna cost you about 100 bucks for a bottle of this the last two months, but it is prescription level skincare and it will deliver results. And if you've been a person who's had a problem using Retin-A or retinols, this could be your go-to replacement because it's gonna give you similar yet even somewhat more effective benefits over time, the before and after pictures, unretouched of course, that show the benefits of this product on skin are absolutely amazing. So something to go look at at Muesli. Again, I'll put a link down below for them, but let's talk about the budget-friendly exosome product that I'm gonna tell you about today. And it's by the Inky List. It's their exosome hydroglow complex. So it too is a mixture of ingredients that are going to help improve the signs of aging on the skin. But the exosomes are derived from Sika, which is short for Centrella Asiatica. You guys have heard me talk about that plant ingredient before. They're able to derive those exosomes directly from that plant and create a very effective product that doesn't need to be refrigerated. You use it twice a day, morning and evening, on the face and neck, and even the backs of the hands if you're trying to treat those areas. Delivers similar results just using different types of ingredients in the formulation. Again, plant-based, like metacatic acid and medecoside, both ingredients that help speed wound healing. Again, similar, very similar results, giving skin those benefits of repair and regeneration. So different formulation, different ingredients, lead to a similar results. Now, it's not going to work as quickly as prescription strength. Obviously not. Doesn't contain rapamycin. However, it is a viable choice for this type of skincare and costs much less, about $22 for one of these. It'll last you about a month and a half. Again, you're using more morning and night instead of the one-time application. But I myself have been using exosome therapy for the last four months, particularly on my neck, the upper part of my chest, the backs of my arms, hands, and my face and I'm seeing some really, really great results, especially on these other areas that have accumulated some damage over the years. So these are really cutting edge formulas, new in the skincare arena, giving some really fantastic results, all of them science backed, giving you a choice of prescription or over the counter options. Again, I'm attaching that video on rapamycin so you can keep on watching, but I hope you guys found this demonstration and explanation of exosomes and what they can do and why there's something you might ought to consider if you're showing the signs of skin aging, whether that's your 30s, 40s, 50s, or over 60 like me. Again, links below down in the video description box for both of these products for you to go look at and decide if they're right for you. And I'm gonna shut up now and let's learn about rapamycin and what it actually can do for the skin because it's some pretty fascinating stuff. The magic bullet to end body and skin aging. Mankind has been looking for the fountain of youth since time began. And in these times, we have indeed unraveled many of the mysteries that cause skin and body aging. And the information that I'm about to reveal in today's video is for sure cutting edge and not generally well known, but it portends some very big changes in the way we address skin and body aging. Now, this all started with a discovery from a soil sample from Easter Island in 1964. Interestingly, the year I was born very good year. The discovery made by a medical expedition. Now this has led to a whole new approach and drug ingredient, if you will, that is proving to be a game changer for aging and skin aging. And I'm excited to share it and my experience with you. Now, if you happen to be new to my channel and not familiar with who I am, I'm Chris Gibson, a skincare expert. I've been in skincare for 37 years. My channel bringing you the latest and greatest information on skin aging, wellness, and longevity. So if this is the kind of content you've been looking for here on YouTube, I hope you stick around 
and subscribe. For a while now, science and especially skincare science has turned its attention to the aging process at the cellular genetic level. Because after all, our bodies are made up of trillions of cells, 37 trillion to be exact, and their health and longevity determine everything from how healthy we are to how long we live. And of course, how our skin ages. For years, the big players in pro-aging for skin from science, the most effective have been retinoids and of course sun protection or sunscreen. Two things I adopted in my early 20s that have truly shown benefits now that I'm age 60. That along with fitness and diet, I certainly don't look or feel 60, more like in my 30s. So what is this anti-aging breakthrough that you really do need to know about? It's called rapamycin. And here is exactly what you need to know. On the surface and one of its most powerful effects is to trigger the process of autophagy. Now we've talked about autophagy here on the channel before. That is actually where your cells in your body break down diseased or dead cells, take them away and out of the body and take the parts that are still good and rebuild new cells, concentrating on keeping your current cells healthier and alive much longer. What happens as we get older is autophagy can slow down significantly in folks. And while we've talked about mechanisms like intermittent fasting, fasting, and even taking certain supplements to help produce more autophagy, this is the first time that we've talked about a drug that's new that actually can create those benefits on the surface of the skin when used as a topical and as well when taken orally. Rapamycin's benefits include reducing the signs of skin aging, age spots, wrinkling, crinkling, breakdown of elastin and collagen. And in fact, I'm gonna be sharing some studies with you, which I will put links for down below in the video description box that have shown hands down, rapamycin can reintroduce the process of growing collagen in skin. Rapamycin is a multifaceted drug with many uses in preventing and treating age-related issues like lifespan, age-related health concerns, and skin degeneration. In vitro studies have shown that rapamycin's ability to disrupt the mTOR protein, suppressed mTOR tells your body's cells to suppress growth, signaling your body to actually conserve resources until more fruitful times. So how does this prevent and treat skin aging specifically, which of course is the subject of this channel? Well, the process of autophagy, removing those dead, senescent, or zombie cells, as we like to call them, helps your cells to repair themselves without having to grow brand new cells, which as we age results in gero conversion and skin and body degeneration. So because topical rapamycin on the skin encourages that autophagy process, it's going to help your skin renew itself and look much more youthful. That means increasing collagen production, decreasing the look of fine lines and wrinkles, age spots and dark patches, and just basically all the signs of photo aged skin, which again, as we've talked about before, 70 to 90% of the visible signs of aging on humans is from accumulated sun damage. And here's an even more interesting discovery that I think is amazing is that it works well with retinoids. So while we have tretinoin on the high end of retinoids prescription strength, all the way to over-the-counter retinoids or retinol, which is working on the surface of the skin to help repair sun damage and also encourage collagen production, the inclusion of rapamycin actually gives your skin a double dose of powerful anti-aging. Just the beginning of this month, I began using prescription rapamycin as a topical applied to my skin once daily, only in the areas that I'm trying to treat, like the face, the neck, and the backs of the hands. I'm doing this because I want to assess the results for myself and then be able to share them with you guys. So if you're not subscribed, now would be a good time to do that. And for all of you, make sure your notification bells are on. So when that video comes out in about 60 days, you're aware of it and you can see what my follow-up progress and my thoughts are on rapamycin as a topical product for your skin. No matter the results or how it goes, you do not want to miss that video. And speaking of applying rapamycin to the back of my hands, there was another study done where participants applied the rapamycin topical to one hand and a placebo to the other hand, showed measurable improved collagen protein production, also 
less or fewer senescent cells, an overall diminishment in age markers at the end of that eight month study. And in another study on rapamycin's effects on skin aging markers, participants were age 40 and older and all showed diminishment of collagen production and age related signs of aging. They also demonstrated improved skin appearance along with increase in collagen production, proving that this can be an effective anti-aging therapy even when it started later in life. Unlike other skincare treatments that have to be used over time to achieve benefits like sunscreen and retinoids. So we now have a new anti-aging agent that we're going to be hearing a lot more about as we move forward and as science and skincare takes a closer look at how to affect benefits at the cellular level, not just from topical products. And again, I'm going to link to the studies that I mentioned in this video down below in the video description box. And I encourage you to use those links, do your own research so that you're well informed and can make good skincare decisions as we move forward over the next several years. Now, I hope you guys found this video helpful today. I know it's not typical of the skincare channel because we usually focus down on products and how they work and who they're beneficial for, but I always want to bring you guys the latest and greatest information. And of course, I'm trying this product out myself, so you will be hearing about my results. That said, for even more ways to roll back the clock on skin and body aging, be sure to check out this video I picked out for you next. Thank you guys for tuning into YouTube today and watching the video, sharing it out. Stay beautiful, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you over on that next video.